Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to do an update on the streaming wars today. We're going to talk about Discovery Warner Media. You heard that right. The media is starting to refer to it as Discovery Warner Media, and they're starting to correctly point out that Warner Media is basically getting sold to Discovery. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's going to be an even merger. Yada, yada, yada. No, that is not actually what's going on. Uh, definitely the CEO of Discovery is going to be in charge of this new entertainment entity. We're going to talk about that. And then we're going to talk about Amazon buying MGM. It happened. It uh, happened. $8.5 billion. We, we reported it as a rumor, I think, last week. And it's a done deal now. So before we get into it, Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 191,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Uh, Geeky is not going to be in on this video. She's got some stuff she's working on right now, but she will be back later today. So let's talk about Amazon first, and then we're going to go back to uh, Warner and Discovery because it's really interesting to see the media kind of flip-flop on that. And they've got these really unrealistic uh, subscriber goals. We'll, we'll talk about that. But yeah, Amazon is buying MGM for $8.45 billion. Uh, the company has announced it Wednesday, marking Amazon's most ambitious move yet into the entertainment business. That means they get James Bond. I guess they get The Hobbit. They get Rocky. They get some other stuff. Uh, the deal is Amazon's second largest acquisition it paid $13.7 billion for Whole Foods in 2017. You know, I forgot they even owned Whole Foods. Uh, Amazon said Wednesday it will acquire MGM Studios for $8.45 billion, marking its boldest move yet into the entertainment industry and turbocharging its streaming ambitions. Uh, yeah, it's the second largest acquisition behind Whole Foods. Uh, Amazon said it hopes to leverage MGM's storied filmmaking history and wide-ranging catalog of 4,000 films and 17,000 TV shows to help bolster Amazon Studios, its film and TV division. Everything's, everything's getting gobbled up by tech companies. The real financial value behind this deal is the treasure trove of IP and the deep catalog that we plan to re reimagine and develop together with MGM's talented team, said Mike Hopkins, Senior Vice President of Prime Video. It's very exciting and provides so many opportunities for high-quality reboots, I mean storytelling. In the statement, MGM Chairman Kevin Ulrich said the opportunity to align MGM's storied history with Amazon is an inspiring combination. Uh, we welcome our new robot overlords. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Shares of Amazon barely moved at, on the announcement. Well, yeah, because MGM, look, they've got some stuff, but not a lot of stuff. And I got to wonder if part of this, you know, because they're doing this uh, ill-conceived Lord of the Rings adaptation. Uh, it's going to be one of the costliest TV shows ever made. And I got to wonder because the rights to The Hobbit were tied up in part, I think, with MGM. They also have James Bond. Uh, Shark Tank, Handmaid's Tale. That's going to be interesting to see what happens to The Handmaid's Tale because that's actually one of Hulu's biggest shows, as I understand it. Uh, and it's going to Amazon, or, or at least uh, MGM's going to Amazon. So I, I imagine you know pre-existing deals will have to play out, but it could definitely, uh, definitely change things. So Discovery CEO David Zaslav, uh, David Z, we're going to be talking more about him, uh, said he was happy about Amazon and MGM. He was happy about it. Uh, I don't think Amazon got the idea for uh, MGM from us, but we're happy about that deal. He said a virtual conference hosted by JP Morgan. Why? 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 Because Amazon just blew a bunch of money on MGM, which doesn't have a whole lot of stuff, really. Uh, look at the value. It's all about the, the IP. Bob Iger said that to me eight years ago. Everybody said, what are you doing with Pixar? You're overpaying. You overpaid for Star Wars. He claimed that AT&T's media portfolio contains the greatest treasure of global IP that's loved by everyone in the world. Given the nearly $8.5 billion valuation for Amazon MGM, he added, you look at the value of MGM and you say, wow, what does this mean if we're worth, uh, if we can make this come together and we think we can? So this is, this is, where we're going to go with this, because these tech companies, they're, they're buying everything up. And there's talk about 
Discovery Warner Media basically being packaged to sell off to a tech company. He might be happy about it because it's possible that Amazon could take a look at Discovery Warner Media and be like, yeah, we want that one too. Uh, we're going to pay way, way, way more money for Warner Media and Discovery than we paid for MGM. Or Netflix could come in and be like, yeah, we'll take all your content, sure, because that's what this is about. Um, now, according to The Hollywood Reporter, I got to give a hat tip to CCG, who sent this over uh, last night, I believe. They want 400 million subscribers, 400 million subscribers on Discovery Warner Media. Notice how the media is spinning it now. It's Discovery Warner Media. Okay. Uh, this is coming from The Verge two days ago. The company has announced a deal to sell Warner Media to Discovery. John Stanky said it was time to unleash the Warner Media assets, basically scrape them off the bottom of our shoe. Here we go again. Deadline. How does the Discovery Warner Media deal impact the CW at the moment? It does not, says the unfortunately named Chief uh, Mark Pedowitz. That's probably in relation to the Powerpuff Girl thing. I think they'll just cancel it. I think they should just cancel it at this point. But yeah, apparently Discovery Warner Media wants to get 400 million subscribers. How the hell is that? They're not going to get that. They're not going to get that. Uh, how is the, the company going to drive growth to such lofty heights? Will it take a page from the playbook of Disney, which is selling Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, and Hulu as differentiated products in the U.S.? Uh, or will it sell as a bundle? Or will Discovery Warner Media, Discovery Warner Media, combine its 200,000 hour, hour, oh my God, trove of content from Netflix or from movies and series and sports and news to create a super service a la Netflix. Discovery takes on Netflix, uh, was one analyst said. A full media conglomerate trying to take on Netflix in the race to global subscription streaming, but among a list of open questions for the new giant, he listed uh, what is the operating strategy for the combined company, HBO Max and Discovery Plus remaining separate or combined, what press, price point? I don't know what they're going to do. And they might not even know what they're going to do. Um, it might just be that they're they're. It's all speculation at this point. And it might be that they're looking just to sell the whole damn thing. And that's people have been talking about that. I said so far, HBO Max only has sixty one million subscribers. Discovery Plus only has fifteen million. Uh, Zaslav and his team are keeping all options open. We will have enormous flexibility in how we package our streaming services. Uh, he told investors, we will look at the range of options to unlock value, or we'll just take the whole damn thing and sell it to Apple or sell it to Facebook or sell it to somebody else, sell it to YouTube. Uh, you know, it seems very vague. I think they have a plan. I just don't think this plan is, God, they're putting a crown on this guy already. What the hell? Again, discovery Warner media empire. Uh, I don't think that uh, people are going to like this plan. They keep speculating. They keep thinking that things are going to go along as they have been. And uh, the plan does seem to be to get this thing pushed through, the deal pushed through, and then they're going to sell the whole package off, the Discovery Warner Media package off to somebody else. That seems to be what's going on. Um, but here we'll we'll leave you with a, a statement from Mr. Stanky, who's scraping, scraping Warner off the bottom of his shoe. What's become clear is the opportunity for direct relationships with customers is truly going to be global. Uh, as a result of that, when you look at the opportunity to grow a fantastic sub subscriber base, we kind of looked at this and said, it's time to unleash the media assets to go and seize a multi-hundred billion dollar opportunity. You had the opportunity with HBO Max and you didn't do it. <laughs> Streaming is a little bit of a different shareholder base and management base than what we typically have. Basically, they were being pressured to get out of the entertainment business. And, uh, you know, some some other company will probably pick up the assets. And that's the thing. It's going to be Silicon Valley is going to dictate what goes on in Hollywood. And we're going to see this more and more and more. And it would not surprise me if this whole damn thing got sold to like Apple or Netflix or Facebook or some other company. And that seems to be what they're going for. The fact that they don't have a lot of answers right now. Uh, tells me that they don't even know 
what they're going to do yet. They're just going to package it and, and pawn it off. But, you know, who knows? Who knows? I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.